Great news for fly fishermen and outdoor enthusiasts. The Connecticut River Hatchery is once again raising trout. We've been raising fish here at Connecticut since the 1890s at this site. Beautiful, gorgeous fish, rainbow trout, brown trout, and also our native brook trout. Um, of interest, uh, Connecticut was the location for the first introduction of brown trout to the United States. So a lot of history here at Connecticut. In 2008, the uh, state of New York uh, changed the testing parameters for trout, and there was an addition of a disease called IPN, infectious pancreatic necrosis. And unfortunately, the fish at Connecticut tested positive for that disease. A decision was made to shut the hatchery down until such point in time an alternate method could be uh, developed to uh, raise fish here that were free from IPN. So over the past eight years, uh, the state of New York, specifically uh, the New York State uh, Department of Parks, Recreation and Historic Preservation, and the Friends of Connecticut have looked at alternatives to reopen the hatchery. And the final decision was to go with a compromise solution where we currently use clean well water from our glacial aquifer. Uh, that well water is pumped to the historic hatch house and the eggs that are purchased elsewhere, certified to be disease free, will be raised out to be a small fingerling trout and then put out into the historic raceways. The key to raising a healthy disease free fish is a clean water. And the secret to that at Connecticut, as in most hatcheries, is to have a well source rather than an open water source. So behind me is uh, the well that has been put in, as well as an aerating tower, which removes the carbon dioxide and adds oxygen to make sure it's the perfect water for the trout that we'll raise here at Connecticut. The funding for that uh, came through uh, New York State, uh, through the Dormitory Authority, thanks to a grant from Assemblywoman uh, Ginny Fields, and then tremendous fundraising and help from the Friends of Connecticut and the Idle Hour Fly Fishermen. Well, the fry will be raised inside the hatch house. They will be starting in one trough, and then as they get a little bigger, we'll split them into two, then three, four, five. We have 12 troughs available. They're going to be grown up to about two to three inches long in the hatchery building itself. They will then go into the outside ponds for further growing. And from there, it should be about another uh, 10 to 12 months before they're actually of the size that you want to put into the river. Currently in one pond we have about 400 fish, uh, that's nothing of significance really, we feed them a little bit of food and they're growing. Uh, one other pond though we have roughly 9,000 fish in, they came in from other hatcheries. Those came in as like 8 to 9 inch fish, they're now running between 12 and 13 inches. And those are the fish that we're currently stocking into the river on a pretty much weekly basis. The best day to go fishing at Connecticut is any day you get a chance to go fishing. Uh, it is catch and release fishing, so any fish that's in the river is still there. Uh, with the exception of the fish that may have been nailed by an osprey or a heron. But there's plenty of fish in the river. The fishing in the park never stopped. The fishing was still going on even without the hatchery. However, now it's on its way to getting to be better because there's more fish to put out there. Reopening the hatch house is a fantastic development on so many different levels. One is it uh, preserves the historic uh, activities here at Connecticut. It is a park preserve, so that's super important. Uh, raising fish means that we have an educational resource that otherwise is really not available in the New York metropolitan area. Uh, for children to be able to come here, see fingerling trout, see trout in this historic setting, uh, be able to feed trout, see all the other animals and wildlife here is just amazing. And then having the hatchery open enables us to have a continual supply of first class quality trout to ensure that the fishing experience is one of the best in the world. And that is, Connecticut has always been a world class fishing destination all the way back to the 1800s. That's what we hope to maintain going forward for the next centuries. From the Connecticut River Preserve in Oakdale, Long Island, I'm Tim C. Smith for SkimmerOutdoors.com.